Hi guys, guys, and Pals. Welcome back to Budget with Ira. I feel like I'm saying this a lot, but in today's video, we are doing something a little bit different. So, you know, I've been working on this penny challenge for a really long time from She's on a Budget. It works, it's good, it's cute, but <sighs> besties, I'm really bored of it. And I feel like if something doesn't work for you, stop trying to make it work. Like, this may be true for some of my challenges you've bought, like, so no hate towards anybody or anything. It's just not vibe i'm not just not vibing with it in today's video i'm gonna literally start the penny challenge again i'm gonna start on january the first because it seems really appropriate and i want to have it done literally on the 31st of december 2023 so i'm hoping to literally do a penny challenge how it's supposed to be done i mean am i going to be able to do it who knows but my first sort of stop is to kind of just say goodbye to this because she was cute she worked and you know what she has helped me save what looks like a nice bit of money so uh, it's going to be really interesting to see what i'm actually going to do with that she's done for me she really is by bestie so in today's video we're going to be counting up all of my change and then we're going to be taking it to the bank and then figuring out what i'm going to do with that money i have got a plan but i don't i really don't know how much money it's going to be is it going to be more than 100 pounds i mean i don't know i suppose the best way to do is to go ahead and count it okay let's talk about this bad girl this has been my adventure jar and i have had her for just such a long time she's been emptied before when i needed her she's she's really really been for me and she's been wonderful for me but you know the time has sort of come for her to be emptied again i will keep her she is a beaut she is a member of the family and i love her so um she is going to be emptied and i am going to do stuff with the money and then we are going to start off with a new year so what i want to do is i know that in my bank you can just dump this money in and they'll count it for you but what i want to do is just kind of count it up myself first a content b um it's going to be really fun for me and i really enjoy it so i've got some um no here and then I've got this so let's go ahead and do it Okay, right, so this is where we're at. I think I'm gonna need a pen and paper just to sort of jot down here 
where I've got a bit of space, what I've got. So let me get a pen. So I've organized it really weirdly, but what I'm gonna first do is count this sort of detritus at the bottom uh, to see where we're at. So we've got five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 37p. So here, the two piece and one piece arranged by into 10 piece stacks. So I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. So I've got 26, so that's 260. Then I've got a fiver there. And then these are all a pound stack. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33. Jeez, that's a lot. And then these are 50p stacks. So 51, 52, 53, 54, 50, 450. Okay, and then here I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28 pounds. And then I've got 5, 10, 15, 25, 35, 55, so 55 pounds. Okay, let me put this all back in the jar and I'll see you back here in a sec. Let's get this calculator out. So I should have 37p plus 260 plus 5 plus 33 plus 450 plus 28 plus 55 is 128.47. That's so much money. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and take this all to the bank um, and chuck it in their machine. And then I'll come back to you afterwards and figure out what we're gonna do with this money. So I guess we're up here just to sort of finish off today's video. So all in all, all of that money up together came up to £128.50, which I think is a significant amount of money. I mean, yes, I did not manage to finish the penny challenge, but that wasn't the point for me. It was about moving my change into the pot so that I could do something with it. And going forward into the new year, I will be doing the penny challenge correctly just to see if it works for me because I quite like the structure of a penny challenge. And this one, the way I was doing it, through no fault of my own, well, all of my fault to be honest, <laughs> through me being me, it just didn't vibe with me. So I'm really excited to see what this brings. Now, at the end of 
the video, I was going to plan a sort of cash stuffing, um, something that I could do with that £128, but what actually has ended up happening is there's been an unexpected spend, um, well, an unexpected need to spend. I haven't spent it yet. So all of that money is now in my account. But as you'll be aware, I'm going on holiday really, really soon. And normally we'd get um, a friend or a family member to take us up to the airport. But because it's Christmas, a, no one's available, and also we don't really want to ask anyone either, just because it's 3 a.m. on Christmas Eve, like, who's gonna want to do that? So, rather than doing that, we are gonna pay to park my car at the airport we're going to, and that is gonna be £115, so I think I'll have about a tenner out of this, and I'm very, very happy with that, because it would normally have to come out of my buffer, and I don't quite have £100 in my buffer, and it just nah I'm, I'm like i don't want to use my emergency fund for it because it's not an emergency i don't want to have to pay for it and then take it out of the next month i don't want to do anything like that i'd rather just pay for it and this penny challenge finishing that at this time was the perfect thing to do. So that's where the money's going. I'm glad that the spend happened when it did because otherwise I would have cash stuffed it and probably struggled to find the money for it. So yeah, that's really, really good. Thank you so much for being with me today. Um, if I have done my scheduling correctly, that means today is Christmas day. So I do want to say a massive Merry Christmas to everybody who does celebrate Christmas. I hope you're having a peaceful and wonderful time time with your family or chosen family or by yourself whoever you are with or not with we are at the end of today's video thank you so much for getting through to the end of the video you know i love it when you get through to the end of the video please give this video some love make sure you like comment share and subscribe and if you are going to comment please use this emoji and that is all we have for you on this very festive day thank you so much to the patrons who support me thank you so much to everybody who supports me but massive thank you to the patrons because without you um it makes things are much more difficult so massive wholehearted um merry christmas and thank you <laughs> we are done for today's video so i would like you to have a wonderful day a wonderful week a wonderful budget and a wonderful christmas don't trust ira thank you so much for watching bestie i will see you very very soon thanks so much bye bye <laughs>